We have a super fun beer to, to say its name, at least. Yeah, it's Lulo Galactico Telefantastico. <laughs> glub, 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 glub. <sighs> we have this beer. Corey, what is it? This is an IPA uh, from Five Rabbit, and it was sent to us from Peter Capozo, so thank you, Peter. Uh, and it is made with Galac- Galaxy Hops, um, which are from Australia. They're, you know, a nice fruity kind. And Lulo fruit, which is like a, a native Colombian fruit that's like in the tomato family. Yeah, we, look, we looked yeah. it up on Google, and the image, before we knew what it was, I was like, oh, it's like a grapefruit tomato orange. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it looks like. It looks like if you took a grapefruit, cut it open, and then it was a tomato on the inside. But like with a little green in there. That yeah. Was, so it's a super it's interesting fruit yeah. and it's in this brew. So it's going to be telefantastico. I'll tell you that much. Abso- absolutely. It's going to be telefantastico. I, I can't, I can't wait. No, but we uh, first need to take a sniff. Oh, this smells delicious. I mean, right off the bat. Super grassy, super green, yeah. super. I mean, the first thing I got was like really like. A really like a nice lush grassy yeah. lawn. You know, we've done a lot of brewery tours. Yeah. It smells like we're on a brewery tour. Yeah, it definitely smells like dried hops. A lot of fruit in there. I get um, some orange, some grapefruit, sweet like marmalade type flavors. When I smell this, I just get that picture of like, like we're working here at brewery. Yes, like it has a little bit of the cereal grain going on. Yeah. Like it feels like we're there, which is amazing. The fruitiness of the Lulo, I don't, again, I wish it's I knew. Hard, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, but I think that it's fruity enough that it it probably does come out. That could be the Galaxy Hops though too. We just, we don't know. We've never had a Lulo. Hopefully but, by tasting this, I'll get to understand what it tastes like. Well, and there's there's just, there's... How many ways are there There's to find just, that out? there's only one. Is there's there only, only one? one way to find and out. how is that? We have to taste it. All right, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. This might be, a, uh, it takes two sips in order to get a lot of, of good descriptors out of it. But the thing that, that really sticks out is in the lingering of it, there's almost like a fruity bubblegum lingering. I know that this this is probably 100% power of suggestion, but does this at all taste to you like either V8 or a Bloody Mary? It has a tomato-ish quality. And it's like, uh, is it irony? Is that kind of what iron, is that what's in a tomato? Is that kind of what has that flavor? Kind of like that. Uh, V8 is irony, yeah. Like yeah. Sort of like that sort of coppery. Yeah, 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 yeah. The coppery Almost blood. blood-like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of that in there. I won't say it's overpowering, but you do kind of get it. And I was trying to steer away from that because I was like, oh, it's just me thinking about the tomato family. But you're right. The more I drink it, the more bitter I get. It's really hop forward in a hop bittering way and not necessarily hop forward in a fruity, tropical, juicy way. For me, it, it, it tastes a little muddled. Is that fair to say? Mm-hmm. For me, uh, it nothing just- Nothing quite. Yeah, nothing nothing, nothing really pops. nothing really stand out. I don't think it tastes bad at all. No, 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 no. It's, it's a really good drinkable IPA. Yeah, I think no- it tastes just fine. But nothing quite pops. Right. Okay, well, that being said, now that I've started it, oh, dang it, I'm going to throw it to you, Corey, as you take another sip. What rating are you going to give Telefantastico? You got to say the whole thing before I can give a rating. Lulo Galactico, Telefantastico. <laughs> you almost have to say that as a song. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go like uh, an 87. Uh, I think this is a really drinkable beer. I think it's, it's a nice beer. Part of me, like you said, has that power suggestion with the tomato family and kind of the irony, coppery type thing going on. I wish there was more fruit. It's more grassy and bitter, kind of like herbal hops, which are not my favorite kind. Okay, so prior to your rating, I had a number in my mind. No, you got to go with that number. 87. Uh, I'm not locked into 87. I was going to go 84. Okay. Which is pretty specific as is 87, but... 85 to me seems like a perfect B. Mm-hmm. And to, to me, this is just a shade under that. I'm, I, I I really like drinking it. It tastes good. I mean, it tastes, it's very refreshing, but yeah. there's just nothing really stand out about it. And it's sort of, it's all kind of just muddled together, as I previously said. So tastes good, but nothing like 
to write home about. All right, guys. Well, you know, thank you again. We are in the midst of summer break. We're having this yes. amazing craft beer. So make sure you subscribe and tell your friends about the show. And until you do, always, always remember. We're the Brew View Crew. And we will review. A brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. So guys, we're going to try something new. Uh, this next beer that we have coming up is a margarita Goza from Westbrook. Okay. And if you can get your hands on it before the next video comes out, we want you to drink it with us and see if you get what we get. Join us on the first ever BRC joining us. <laughs> Westbrook Margarita Goza. <laughs>